What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to be talking about my top five picks for best gaming headsets in 2022. By the way, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bells for notifications to see when I pop new videos in. And for those of you who may not be aware, I do stream on Twitch now more frequently than I ever have. I actually stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, 9 p.m. Central Time to about 11 p.m. Central, if not 12 a.m. You can come in, hang out, watch me play some different video games. We're playing playing through uh, Elden Ring right now at the moment. We're very close to beating the game, actually, I, I think, at least. And I haven't hit 300 deaths yet, but I'll probably break 300 easily. Uh, and also, the cool thing is, is that Twitch is a great place for you to interact with me and ask me all your questions that you have. I get a lot of you who message me in DMs on Twitter, Instagram, asking me about a certain headset you want to get, comparing this and that, uh, asking me about microphones, asking me about post-processing tips, editing tips, and all this kind of stuff, which is perfect. I love it. Keep it coming, y'all. But if you want an additional platform to interact with me, twitch.tv slash GNR Frank, you can do it right then and there live. We can have a great conversation. All right, so coming in at number five, we've got the HyperX Cloud 2 Gaming Headset by HyperX. This will run you about 70 bucks, maybe if you find it on sale a little bit cheaper. This headset is phenomenal. It's been renowned as one of the best options out there for many years. When I reviewed it back in 2020, I even claimed it to be among the, one of the most perfect headsets for 2020 because it is a very well-rounded headset. It's got excellent build quality, excellent sound quality, and it actually has a more than decent microphone. As far as sound is concerned, you've got excellent sound states, so you're gonna be able to hear your directional cues like gunshots, footsteps, explosions, etc. For those of us who play competitive multiplayer games like Warzone, PUBG, Fortnite, Apex, what have you. But even in a non-competitive setting, the sound that this headset offers with other games was exceptional at the time too. And it still is to this very day, by the way. Now, for 70 bucks, I think it is a phenomenal deal, an absolute bargain of a headset to get, especially with its versatility. You do have a USB sound card that, comes, that does come included with some of the newer iterations of the headset, which allows you to do 7.1 virtual surround sound, which I just wouldn't mess with, by the way. I'm honestly more of a, st a stereo fan myself. But if you don't want to use USB, it also has a 3.5 millimeter connection option as well. Overall, coming in at $70, I think the headset is an absolute bargain. Cannot see myself not recommending this headset to anybody else, but unfortunately for it, there are four other headsets that are better. Now, before we start with number four, I wanna let y'all know that I will have links to every single one of these headsets reviews in the description below from the reviews I've actually done. Number four, we've got the Creative Labs SFXi Gamer Gaming Headset. That is a mouthful, and yes, that is what she said. Okay. Why do I love this headset? I love this headset for three different reasons. Number one, it has great build quality. Get, the headset is clean looking, it's built very well, it's built to last, it's flexible, it is sturdy, and it is one of the few headsets to execute RGB in a tasteful, non-gimmicky, non-obnoxious manner. Number two, the sound for this headset is absolutely incredible. This is one of the few headsets that actually made me afraid to shoot in a game like PUBG. Yes, I still play PUBG, and you should too. Now, the, the sound and the gunshots and the loading and the cocking the guns and everything just sounds so visceral and so raw playing this game. It was legitimately terrorizing at times to shoot guns because it sounded that great. And mind you, this is not playing with the 100% volume. I had to turn my volume down to not like absolutely blast my eardrums out, but it sounds absolutely great. Sound stage is exactly what you'd want from a headset like this. Everything else single player wise also sounded amazingly. And number three, the microphone on this headset is exceptional. This headset's microphone sounds absolutely incredible. You could damn near get away with using this microphone for some sort of content creation, YouTube commentary, Twitch streams, or what have you. Obviously not the best option, right? A standalone microphone will always be your better option, but with the Creative Labs SFXi Gamer Microphones, Gamer Headsets Microphone, my Lord, that's a little tough to do. With that microphone, you can get away with it. And that is that microphone is really the only reason why the headset stands above the HyperX Cloud 2. It does have software that you can use to do equalizations and stuff like that. And they do have some preset EQs for like a thing called battle mode, which I did try in a review. I wasn't a big fan. I'm still not. So I don't even mess with it. Right? I usually use my headsets mostly in analog 3.5 millimeter connections. I stay away from USB because they're just not that great. But overall, the SFXi Gamer headset, which runs you about $80 to so $130, depending on what iteration, what version you get, is a phenomenal headset to get. And if you're looking for a headset that delivers on all three and especially a really good microphone, I would get this headset over 
the HyperX Cloud 2. All right, now coming in at number three, we have the Razer Black Shark V2 gaming headset coming in at about $100 or so, depending if you can catch it on sale or not. I bought this headset at about time of release, and when I reviewed it, I basically claimed this headset to be the new HyperX Cloud 2. Everything that I love about the Creative Labs SFXi Gamer headset and the HyperX Cloud 2 is that if they were both to just get together and do the hop on the good foot and do the bad thing, for lack of a better way of saying that, that was terrible, uh, then their baby would be the Razer Black Shark V2, and it is an absolutely incredible headset. It has an amazing microphone, and it has an incredible sound stage, incredible sound altogether. Actually, the sound stage was a little better in this headset compared to the other two, because I remember specifically being able to hear things from a further distance compared to the SFXi and the HyperX Cloud 2. Now, the build quality is super simple. There are a couple of things I'm not a big fan of. Number one, the volume knob is this giant protruding knob on the right ear cup. It looks a little ugly. And I am a very big believer in your headset's aesthetic, especially if you are a streamer or YouTuber or content creator where people are going to see you with your headset on. I don't want to look goofy wearing a gaming headset. I want to look professional. Now, outside of that, although that is an aesthetic problem that I have with the headset, a functional design problem I do have with the headset is what connects the headband to the ear cup are two wires per ear cup, and that's it. Two thin metallic wires. Now listen, I work hard for my money, and I buy everything on my own with the exception of a couple of things that I have gotten from companies that sent me to review things. This is not one of them. I bought this headset cold hard cash. So me knowing that, I don't throw my stuff around. I'm very careful with my belongings and my things to make sure that I don't destroy them. But you, for example, might be a different story. Maybe you are a little rough around things. Maybe you're the one dying to the tree sentinel for like the hundredth time because you just can't get at Elden Ring and it's not really your fault. You don't understand how the game works, but you think it's like every other RPG and you end up having a bad day anyway. So you take your headset off, you throw it at the wall and you break it. I would not recommend doing that. This is a headset that you want to treat with care. Outside of those two wires though, everything else is on point. The headband is incredibly flexible. The ear cups are huge. They fit over your ear and they are incredibly comfortable and they're very spacious. I remember specifically also that my gigantic Dumbo ears were not touching the insides of the driver and that is very important in regards to comfort. Coming in at about hundred bucks, this is a fantastic headset. The fact that it takes the best qualities from the SFXi and the HyperX Cloud 2 is why I have it placed at number three. So at number two, we have the only headset on this list that is not a gaming headset. And this is coming in at $75 the Philips SHP 9500 audiophile headset. When I was doing some research for headsets some time ago, I kept coming across this one headset across Reddit, Twitter, and other forums multiple times as people's top recommendation for best in class sound. So at 75 bucks, I'm like, sure, let me pick it up. And here's what I found, okay? The build quality, not too bad. Very sturdily built, very well built. It's not incredibly flexible as far as the headband's concerned and the drivers and the ear cups are pretty shallow. So my ears, unfortunately, did touch the insides of the drivers, but let me tell you, it didn't even become a problem because they're incredibly lightweight. There's barely enough room there though to, 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 to make it comfortable. But when it came to sound, um, oh my God, y'all, this, this headset destroyed sound for everything I had used beforehand. It really made me consider on whether or not I should even continue to use gaming headsets because the sound for this thing was absolutely exceptional uh, on all levels sound stage audio cues directional cues uh dialogue ambient noise environmental sounds everything there were things in games that i had played hundreds of hours for that i had never heard until i started using this headset and for 75 bucks that's an absolute killer of a deal you can't ask for more now the only drawback to this headset of course is that because it is an audiophile headset and not a gaming headset it does not come with a microphone but there's a very easy solution to that. You can buy yourself a mod mic, something like the Vmoda or this Amazon branded one that I'll link in the description as well, that will basically just plug into where your, your audio cable plugs into. It adds a mic and feeds all the audio to the headset as normal. And now you have yourself a gaming headset. This headset, although it is missing some features from the prior headsets to it, just in the fact alone that its sound is incredible and in a whole nother level, absolutely earns it a spot at number two. Coming in at number one is a headset that far exceeds the other four options in terms of build, in terms of sound, and in terms of microphone. It is the most comfortable headset I have ever used. It has the best sound of any headset I have ever used, including the SHP 9500. 
It has the absolute best microphone I have ever used in any gaming headset to date, period. It is beautifully designed. It is very well built. It is durable. It's not gimmicky. It looks professional. It looks clean. And it comes in at $130. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Audio-Technica ATH GDL3. This is the open back version of their new headsets that just came out maybe a month or two ago. This little thing right here, y'all, is seriously the best thing I have ever purchased in terms of sound for headsets. The microphone. With like proper EQing and some clever technique, you can probably get away with this microphone and be damn near close to sounding like you have an external microphone. And you're not gonna have like SM7B quality or anything like that, but you will, it'll be very hard to tell that you're using a headset's microphone. The, the drivers are, I think, 45 millimeters. There's plenty of room inside of the ear cups to where my ears are not touching the insides of the drivers. The fit is completely around the ear. It is the, it is the absolute lightest weighting headset I've ever used. It's comfortable for, for three, four hour, five hour sessions that I have used in the past. Uh, there's no gimmicky USB cards to come with it. It is a strictly analog headset, stereo headset. And the sound is, the sound's incredible. It's, it's, it's amazing. It, it, it delivers top level sound and no matter what kind of game you're playing, okay, if you're playing a competitive shooter like Warzone, PUBG, Fortnite, Apex, what have you, you're going to get audio stage and sound stage and audio cues that you just never heard before, okay? When you're playing single player games, like I'm playing Elden Ring right now, I have for like 65 plus hours, uh, the game just sounds absolutely amazing. Dialogue comes in crispy and clearly. And again, the microphone, y'all, seriously, is the absolute best. Every thing that the first four headsets have that it's great about them this headset has and does better and i'm going to be honest with y'all if you were willing to pay 75 dollars for the shp 9500 i would just save up the difference to get to 130 and get this headset this is my number one headset for 2022 and i see it being very difficult for anybody to top that and i'm telling you now it's completely up to you if you want to get any of the other headsets. If you're going to get any of the other headsets, I would just say save up the difference and get this headset. You will not regret it. This headset works on PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, PC, Xbox, what platform don't matter. You can use it on any one of them and they're all going to sound great. And you will sound great because the microphone on this thing is, is from, from another planet. It's wild. So, so. That's it. That's my top five for 2022. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you going to be picking up any of these? I will add Amazon links for all the headsets. If you do feel like purchasing any of them, use those links. Pretty, pretty please. You'll support the channel. And I will appreciate that very much. So until next time, uh, be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash GNR underscore Frank. Take care.